right, man. Um, Drake. Uh, there's a rumor going around that Drake sent 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 the NFL a uh, cease and desist letter. Um, for Kendrick Lamar, um, not to perform like us at Super Bowl I Super Bowl L I X. Now, um, you know, it's not the first time he sent the cease and desist. He sent one about, you know, uh, you know, Metro Boomin posted, you know, that he sent one, um, one like us or like that for the song like that. So, I mean, like I said before, a lot of y'all be saying Drake is for the culture and he not, <laughs> he not. He said, I'm lame, but the first week after like that, you tried to block it at the radio. I've been sitting on this email for a month now, but was just sparing you or you ain't like that. So he said, you know, he sent that he sent this cease and desist. It says, for our conversations last week, we are not, I can't remember, granting radio rights for like that. So like I said before, I mean, you know, this ain't the first time he been accused or something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, so he started talking about some other stuff. Or whatever. Oh man, this is crazy. <laughs> this is wild. But um, well, yeah, this is this is this is this is not the first time that you know this has been brought up. And like I said before, you gotta understand, man, we create our own problems. Um honestly, we create our own problems. Um he chose to pick a fight with Kendrick Lamar. You know, Kendrick Lamar was sitting idle, you know, he was mining. He was minding his own business, um, and he started a, he started a beef for him, you know. Um, so, but at the same time, uh, ain't no cease and desist in rap and rap battles, man. Like he's one of these new age rappers who don't understand the game. You know, from Canada, you know, and yeah, you go down to Memphis and we used to have fun in Memphis and we used to do this, that, and the third in Memphis. We used to have fun and all this type of stuff and and woo, woo, woo you know, and all that type of shit. You know, and if you don't, you know, if you didn't want it to be performed, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. You shouldn't have started the rap battle. You shouldn't start the rap battle with the dude. You started this. You know, you brought this, you brought this amongst yourself. You thought you really was a real rapper and you found out you was a new edition popcorn rapper or, or candy rapper. Candy girl, you are my world ass rapper. You know, so you think he learned from Pusha T. Like, like Kendra said, you pushing P, you should be pushing T. <laughs> that was funny. And Euphoria was actually the better song, honestly. Once you listen to the bar, so it, actually that was the more lyrical and better song. But hey, you ninjas like catchy shit. So guess what? He came up with something catchy. You know, he came up with something catchy and he did it. But to me, like, that just shows you how much gentrified rap is. You know? How about, you know, if you're going to put a cease and desist or you, you know, why not sue him for defamation or some of them things he accused you of doing? How about, you know, hey, go out there and defend your name when he said, you know, you're trying to strike a court, a minor. When he, when he accused you of doing all them freaky ass things and all them things with a minor, why not go ahead and defame and put him to court for defamation for that? Why are you worried about people hit him hitting that stage performing that song, but you ain't talking about the stuff you did in the song? You say, like, "Oh man, he defaming my character." If you go, if you go, if you want to really, if you really want to, you know, be a, a, a little, you know, a little itch, and I said itch, why not sue him for what he said in the song about you messing with young girls? Why not defend your character right then and there? But you defending, you trying to stop him from from performing a song. How he standing in this picture let you know everything how he rocking, bro. That lets you know everything. Painting his nails, doing all that goofy shit. That lets you know everything, everything you need to know about him. And he's influenced a generation of, of, of guys. 
he he's influenced a generation of guys, bro, to uh you know to act just like him and do whole shit. You notice, you know, and somebody was asked me today, do you believe, you know, rappers are are you know are are uh are leaders and yeah they made rappers especially the female rappers now and a lot of people out here you know is 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 moving is moving like drake moving sassy you know backdooring dudes for their girlfriends when it's a thousand different girlfriends out here thousand different girls out here doing whole shit you know snitching running to the police throwing a rock Hiding their hand, you know what I'm saying? Doing all that type of crazy shit. You got dudes literally make doing feminine doing pulling female moves. And that's crazy. We got plenty of dudes pulling female pull, pulling female moves. So and Drake. Drake's done a bunch of female moves. Listen to some of his songs. He's glor he glorifies tricking. He glorifies tricking, and now everybody's saying, "Oh, it ain't tricking. It ain't tricking if you got it." And and now the rapper says, it's "Cool to trick." And what you don't find out? Look at Diddy. Diddy did all that, you know, diddly diddly and tricking and flying girls out. And you know, people ask me that all the time. Check out the Patreon. We talk about stuff like flying girls out and all that shit. People ask me that, like, do you fly girls out? Like, dude, I live in a metro, a major metropolitan city. I live in Detroit, so really ain't no point to fly no girls out if I can't get no girls in my city. You know, in a major city like this, it ain't the biggest city, no diddy. But if I can't get girls in my city, why do I need to fly them out for sex? Like, absolutely not. And then you flying these girls out and they ain't producing. Like, no, nah, I'm good. Only way I fly a girl out is we might went to college together. Or I met her while I was traveling. And, you know, you know, we already, you know, kicked it or whatever. That's different. I have no problem with that. But all this tricking and stuff, you know, all that's going to do is manifest into the Me Too movement. I'm telling you. That's all that all that manifesting to is the Me Too movement. Mark my words. Women going to start, you know, blaming men for them being on OnlyFans and suing guys for OnlyFans. They're going to start blaming men for uh for uh for 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 being tricks. Oh, he he tricked me by giving me $100 or $40 to sleep with me. He tricked me and I feel watch, watch I'll tell you they ain't going to have no accountability, bro. A lot of these dudes that's John's tricks and all that man type of shit, man, y'all going down too. When Miss will say you're going down too bad, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> but yeah, this is let you know these dudes move like women. I can't beat you straight up. I can't beat you straight up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't whoop you straight up. So I'm, I'm going to try to go to court and stop you. I'm going to try to go to court and stop you. You know, all these dudes walking around snitching on everybody. All these dudes walking around snitching and they walking around becoming Internet sensation snitching and they walking around being Internet sensations snitching. They walking around being Internet sensations snitching on people. Come on, man. Come on, they walking around being internet sensation snitching. All these dudes goofy and these rappers are the ones that's 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 controlling that's controlling the maestro when it comes to that. They controlling that. They controlling all of that. They set the they set the they set the barometer. They set they set the barometer for all that, y'all. They set the barometer. You know? So, you know, now you see it's a, it's a large number of dudes that's moving like women now. You know, you know, dude out, out trapping you across the street, his trap booming, your trap ain't booming. What you do, you do, a, you do a belly move. You snitch and call the feds on them instead of, you know, figuring out how to do better. These dudes moving like women. You got a nice little cold piece. Guess what? A lot of these dudes trying to backdoor instead of going out there getting their own woman, they try to get your woman. What about that brother that 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 was trying to holler at this his at his homie's uh funeral, trying to holler at his girl at his homie's funeral, 
and she recorded it. It's a cold game. So now we got a whole bunch of feminine energy, and in, in, in especially in the, in the West, in the United States, is a bunch of dudes that's moving like females. It's a bunch of dudes moving like females. You know, and that's just what it is. So, you know, you ain't crazy if you still moving masculine, you still move like a man. A lot of these dudes are moving like women, borrowing money, not paying it back. You know, want to fight you, then get beat up and then want to file a police report. You know, look at look at the people they look up to, look at the music they put in their ears. You know, they didn't they didn't have a chance. A lot of these dudes had no father figure. What Jay-Z say? He said, you know, no father figure. You got a partner, nigga. He told y'all, I'm, I'm moving. I'm Jay-Z told y'all, I'm moving like a bitch. In the Dynasty intros, I think that's the greatest rap intro of all time. One of the greatest intros I've heard. He said, you know, no father figure. You got a partner, Ninja. He told y'all that. So what that tell you? You know how he moving. What he tell him in Creed 3, man? Donnie, he telling you who, you, who he is. Believe him. These dudes telling you who they are. You start something and then you want to go, you you want to put paperwork on. Let's just let you know where the game is at, bro. There's an oversaturation of fake dudes, um, feminine dudes, and Drake don't get no feminine. Look how he's holding his hands, putting beads in his hair, painting his fingernails, wearing purses. Wait till that Diddy video drop. <laughs> she dropped, but uh, but yeah, check out the music entertainment playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video uh, financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Amazon, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, but hope it ain't true that Drake did that. But in that picture, like he would. Peace.